Rattlesnakes have been making their way to several local backyards this summer looking for a cool place to stay. News 8's Alec Janikopoulos tells us what to do if one of these unwanted visitors makes it into your backyard. Alec? Martha, rattlesnakes live in dens that are usually seen inside of rocks or underground. But a Winona resident that I talked to found that they can also live in her backyard. Hi Tom, it's Julie Bolter again. Say I have another snake. In the last two days, Winona resident Julie Bolter has seen four timber rattlesnakes hiding in her backyard. I've lived here for 20, 22 years, and I've only seen one other timber rattler. Um, you know, we see a lot of creatures out here, but um, I don't really want to see snakes very badly. <laughs> so far, the snakes haven't done any damage outside of scaring the homeowner. I hope I don't see any more again. The Minnesota DNR has made several stops to her home and told Julie what they believe is inviting the reptiles. If a snake closed his eyes and looked for the perfect environment, he would look right at this because of the wood and the, the, the dirt that's under the wood. Um, so I won't be having that anymore. Cool, shaded places like firewood can draw them in. Their body temperature is regulated by the outside temperature, so they can't um, cool themselves off at all like humans can. So they have to physically move their body to a cooler area to actually cool off. So what should people do if they find a rattlesnake? Make slow movements in the opposite direction of the snake. Which wasn't exactly what Julie did. I jumped a mile and uh, ran away from my lawnmower. Julie monitors the activities of the snake, so when the DNR come, they know where to find them. And then he crawled all the way along the wall into the window well. That process gave Julie a newfound appreciation for rattlesnakes. I almost felt like I was at the zoo, but um, I guess just people to try to, if you can, relocate them if they're not a threat at all because they were amazing, beautiful. But at the same time, she can appreciate them from a distance. I hope they don't make their way back. <laughs> To humans, uh, the Timbler rattlesnake venom isn't lethal, but it can be to smaller pets, which is why the Minnesota DNR offers a free removal service. All right, I cannot believe you found a fourth one just while you were talking <laughs> to her today. But so, how can you tell and make sure what you're looking at is a timber rattler? Well, there's a couple key elements to find a timber rattler. Of course, rattling is a good telltale, but it doesn't always mean it's a timber rattler. Look for a brown stripe on its white and yellow skin, and that's a good way to find out. And you can get that information and more at the DNR's meeting this Monday afternoon, where they'll go over some more. Tips. And who to contact. All right, thanks a lot, Alec.